Welcome to the Digital Transformations Project. What I'd like to show you today is how you can upload data to the gradebook in your Ultra subject. So let's get started. First, let's get organized. Let's go to the Grade Center. And if you haven't yet, you're going to have to create a column where you can input these results. So I have a few assessment pieces there. But what I want to do is create an extra column for my new assessment. Now you may already have created this assessment from your subject content or created this column. But just for this exercise, I'm going to go to the tabular view and I'm going to create a new column. So let's add an item and I'm going to call it hurdle assessment to respiratory system. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the details of this assessment, but for this first example, I'm going to grade it using points with a maximum score of one. So in my subject outline and in my original assessment, um, when I create it, I can describe to my students um, exactly what they need to do in this, this task and what their grades mean. In this case, a score of one means the student successfully passed or completed the station and a score of zero means the students have failed it and are likely to have to take it again. I'm going to call it a test um, and I'm going to save that. So here's my new column. Now the other thing I need is somewhere in my desktop or within my files I need to find those results easily so I can copy and paste them into the document that Ultra is going to give me. So here are my results for that subject site and I have two different examples. The first ones I'm going to open and make sure they're handy. So I can just copy and paste these results into the spreadsheet that Ultra is going to give me. Now you may choose to enter as you go when the Ultra when the Ultra platform gives you that document, but I find it easier to copy and paste, especially if you have a large number of students, so make your life easier. So I've got this spreadsheet handy. I'm going to go back to Ultra and download my template. So essentially, to do an upload, you have to download the gradebook first um, from Ultra. So you work on that document and you can specify within that document exactly where things go in a way that the Ultra platform understands. So this will make sense in a second. And for my first example, I'm going to choose to download the full gradebook, which will give me results for other tests. And I'm going to choose the CSV format. I also want to save it to my device. So most computers, it will put this template file into your downloads. Let's go. Once this window pops up, I want to save that file exactly where it is going. So it's going to my downloads. I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to go find it once the download is complete. So let's go and pick it up. I'm going to go to my file explorer and in my downloads I'm looking for a document ending in the CSV format with a name that reminds me of my subject. In my case it's a sandpit and the date for today. And I'm going to open that document so I can input data into it exactly where it belongs. So here I have data, my students' names um, and IDs, and I have a column that's blank for hurdle assessment number two. And that's when I want to go and pick up my results. I'll do a copy and I'll input them into that column. There we go. Now the tendency here is to click on file and go to save as, give it a different name um, and potentially put it in a different location. Now this is the key point in this video. I strongly recommend you don't do that. Keep it simple, click save and that keeps all the files details, the name and the extension the same, so Ultra can easily recognize it. Once you've done that, you've got the new data in there, you've saved it, let's upload it into Ultra. So once again, I'll bring my subject site and now we go to the upload item and we go and pick it up exactly where we left it. So it was in downloads. Um, I'm looking for that CSV file right here, open it and upload it to the Grade Center. Perfect. 
there's our column with our new results. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a slightly different example now with a different type of file, and a different type of assessment. So just very quickly, you can always go and edit and make that assessment and that column visible to students right here. Um, just don't forget that once it's visible, it, students may still not see their grades until you post them. So you do need to post for them to see their results. Let's move on. Check out a little bit of a different example. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very similar assignment. I'm going to say hurdle assessment to respiratory examination. I'm going to leave most of these details blank um, or they don't really matter for the purpose of this exercise or as default. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload using percentages. So my results will go in as percentages, I'll still call it a test, give it a save and here's my new column. So once again, don't forget to download your template. This time I want to work with a specific column, which is the hurdle assessment. I actually find this a little bit simpler. There's less items to complicate the gradebook. Um, so especially if you have a lot of assessments, this might make your life much easier. Um, and I want to keep the file type as Excel, unlike the previous example. Once again, it's going to my device. I'm going to hit download and I'm going to save that file exactly where it comes in, right in my downloads. All done. Let's go and pick it up. So I'm going to look for my file explorer here in my downloads. Now I'm looking for an Excel file, very similar type of file name, but a different extension. Um, what I want to do is make sure I've only got relevant things open in Excel. So I'm actually going to close this one. And no, I don't want to save it. Um, and I'm going to close my previous results file as well because I want a different one this time. So let's open the file that Ultra has given me. And that's okay. I still want to go ahead and open it despite the confusion in extensions. Um, and what I need to do now is make sure I can clearly find that column where I'm going to input my data in. And where am I going to pick it up? In my original results. So they're here in my desktop. I've got my results folder for this subject. And this time I want the results in percentages. So I'm going to open that file. Have to be a little bit organized because they all look similar. I'm going to copy that data and paste it into the column of the document that Ultra gave me. Let's put it in there. I've got my results this time in percentages. And once again, don't go file save as, don't give it another name, don't put it elsewhere. Just hit save, you know what it looks like, you know where it lives. Let's go with the flow. I understand that um, there's different file formats involved here and I want to keep using the format that Ultra gave me. We saved, we pick it up, we take it to Ultra. So let's go back to our subject. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that particular file that this time was saved as an Excel spreadsheet. Still in my download, so I haven't saved it elsewhere, I haven't relocated it. I'm looking for the XLS, not the previous CSV from the past example. I'm going to open that file and click Upload. So there are my grades and my column is completed. Once again, you need to make it visible to students and you need to post those grades. Um, but the hard work's been done for you with the upload method. I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching.